what's going on guys in this video i'll be going over some cod modern warfare patch notes and this is the patch that was just given out on 11 12 at midnight and it is patch 1.08 so in this patch there was not some crazy things that they updated or anything a lot of it was just more general fixes but they did actually fix a handful of very specific things in the game as well but before we get into the video if you're new to the channel definitely consider subscribing and if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and stay tuned for more call of duty modern warfare videos but anyways getting right into it the first and biggest thing that they said that they updated was general fixes so they had more back-end fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability across all modes and platforms so this was just something overall that just you know kind of helped the game out just some general stuff that they fixed with bugs on you know playstation pc and xbox after that was actually a little bit more specific and this one is a specific weapon that took up an entire category to itself according to modern warfare so with this one right here is the riot shield so with the riot shield they fixed a bug where a player using the riot shield would not take explosive damage during certain situations so apparently this was a bug i personally hadn't noticed it but i don't use the riot shield too often so it seemed as if people were using the riot shield they had it in front of them and they weren't taking damage so i don't really know what that's referring to if it's referring to kill streaks or grenades or claymores what but either way i guess that's a problem and they also fixed an issue where the riot shield would stow on the player's back when using stims so if players were using stims and they were trying to heal themselves the riot shield would stow on their back which apparently isn't correct so with the riot shield i think the riot shield from using it myself is still a bit buggy i'm kind of surprised these are the only updates they had i've noticed quite a few issues where on my screen i would have the riot shield like directly in front of me or something like that like i throw a throwing knife and then i'd have it back but then the person would like hit a headshot on me when they were directly in front of me stuff like that so the riot shield still seems to be very very glitchy and a bit laggy as well if you're trying to use it in fast gameplay like doing things like doing melee attacks with it with your knife or with a combat knife or using throwing knife so it does still seem a bit laggy hopefully they'll update that more but it looks like they already have so far so that's probably a good thing after that is footsteps so they had a relatively big patch to footsteps so they said that they adjusted to always play walk footstep sounds when in ads and crouch independent of speed they also said to increased or that they increased the speed in which you can remain using the walk footstep sounds by slightly pressing on the movement sticks so this actually was slightly conditioned are slightly confusing so they did actually clarify a little bit more and they did say sorry the footstep wording isn't super clear so they did say that we have different sounds for crouch walk walk jog sprint etc before this patch ads used walk and crouch used crouch if the player moved faster to uh <laughs> if the player moved faster than a certain speed the ads walk would change to a jog sound the same was true for crouching etc etc so they're trying to explain it a little bit better and a little bit more in depth so they're trying to fix the sounds on the footsteps um i've personally been kind of annoyed by them and it seems as if almost they started out with like the sounds really bad so that like beginner players and new players could kind of figure out the game then they've been slowly adjusting them so that kind of is interesting to see because in the old call of duties you, you know the sound was a very big deal having headphones was a big deal as well you'd be able to very easily hear people and they don't actually have any sort of perks that hide your footsteps but they do have a dead silence field upgrade which i actually use quite a bit so that is kind of interesting and kind of good to see them improve the footsteps after that is just some challenges so i personally haven't been too focused on them but um they kind of just fixed uh challenges so the general fix for ui and challenges just overall fixed for a challenge related error that could occur there's some sort of dev error and then also they fixed uh mission challenge description get kills with a burst weapon as well and those just kind of were just overall just general fixes to the challenges just some updates i personally haven't been doing them very much like i said so maybe perhaps they'll try to make them a little bit more prominent on the screen after that is piccadilly so piccadilly in my opinion is probably one of the worst maps in this entire game not one i like a lot not one that's been generally popular by the public but they did do a little bit of spawn tuning when playing team deathmatch and domination in piccadilly because the spawns there were just absolutely terrible um they also fixed the domination flag so b flag is now near the buses instead of the center fountain so 
um overall pick it elliot um i hate the spawns i hate just every game mode on it, it feels really bad and just overall terrible to use i mean it, the map layout makes no sense it's kind of a small map but at the same time a little bit larger i mean it's just overall just not a big fan after that, they fixed some um, basic weapons. So with the ARs, there's minor hip spread adjustment. So it didn't actually say if they buffed or nerfed that, but they just said there's a hip spread adjustment. Um, 725 reduced range, that makes sense. That thing was literally shooting players across the map. Um, M4 increased hip spread, decreased damage to head. So the M4, they actually, I guess, I guess, I don't know, they buff and nerfed it at the same time, so they increased the hip spread, which I guess that basically is just if you're firing from hip fire, and then decreased damage to head, so less headshot damage, so I don't know which one would be more important to you, I'd probably assume the headshot damage, but I don't know, I guess it was more of a buff, or a nerf than a buff, but either way, FAL, um, reduced recoil increased ads speed so that seems like that was just all of a buff for them and then the eb14 the increased ads speed um not one i use at all never use that i don't really use fal either m4 is pretty good but um either way uh, so there's a couple buffs a couple nerfs there and then miscellaneous ammo reserve adjustments upon spawning to be in line with other weapons of their class so it seems like they've just fixed overall ammo which i haven't noticed as a problem because I've mainly been playing Shoot House 24 seven, and you know, maybe perhaps this would be more of a problem in ground war or games just with longer, like where you're probably gonna live a lot longer, but I personally haven't noticed anything too much. And then there's a special ops, a special operations uh, bug that they fixed. So they fixed a bug where a player using the overkill perk with an SMG as their secondary was sometimes spawned without a primary when joining a match in progress. So that seems to be a very, very specific fix there. So overall, for these fixes, I like them. They fixed Piccadilly, which I like because that was just a general complaint among the community. So that's kind of good to see as well. Um, they didn't do too many buffs here. I mean, reducing the range on 725, again, something that the community has been kind of annoyed about. So I like that as well. But besides that, I mean, they're just some kind of general stuff. And they did fix footsteps again, which is kind of interesting to see them keep doing that. And I'm, honestly, there still is quite a few things I would like to see them fix. Uh, it seems as if all the shotguns just in general are a little bit too OP. Um, the riot shield seems to be a bit laggy as well. And they should definitely continue to just overall fix more things throughout the game. I think the footsteps could still be adjusted as well. And I mean, the shotguns again, I don't know what they're going to do with them. I, I don't hate it that they're really good, but I also aren't the biggest fan because we were playing small maps like shoot house, pretty much impossible to get a lot of kills without using a shotgun. But other than that, guys, really, if this video is definitely let me know what you think in the comment section about this patch update. Um, wasn't anything too major or anything too crazy, just some general updates and also fixing a few individual things. Not as big as some of the previous ones, but definitely let me know what you think in the comment section. And also, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We talk about the um, video games, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Minecraft, a bunch of games like that. But definitely stay tuned for more Call of Duty videos. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching.